Well, the PAP has set up a group dedicated to addressing aging issues in Singapore. Making the announcement, PM Lee said seniors are a growing group with much to contribute, but also with new needs which must be addressed. The PAP already has a women's wing and a youth wing, the young PAP. Now it's setting up a PAP seniors group for their voices to be heard. This is an interest group, not a group of old people. It's a group which will champion elderly causes, active aging for example, which will work on issues which affect the lives of our elderly, the quality of life of the elderly, like their care, their security. The group will also promote volunteerism among younger seniors, those between 55 and 64 years old. In addition, the group will work with the PAP Community Foundation to meet elder care needs, for example, by setting up senior activity centres. The executive committee of the PAP Seniors Group will be chaired by Speaker of Parliament Halima Yaakob. The group's advisor is Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong. It will also include eight other members of Parliament and three former MPs. The committee has yet to set a target on how many seniors it aims to attract but it's confident people will join. They want to see that the party is sincere in doing it. Uh, for them also, uh, they have uh, issues and concerns. And I'm, I'm sure that they will be uh, supporting, participating, because it does not really matter, you know, whether it is the party or whether it's other uh, organisations or agencies, but that, you know, it's a chance for them to be able to have their voice heard a chance for them to be able to have their lives improved. I think that's really more important. The group also intends to strengthen its engagement with its senior party activists. Even though we may be physically older and our bodies may lack that ability to fight for the party in the way that we used to do, do not write us off. Don't worry. We won't write you off. We will sign you up. And there's a lot of work for you to do for many years to come. Mr Lee also said that details of the Pioneer Generation Package could be announced during the budget in February next year. The package aims to recognise the contribution of Singapore's pioneers and will focus on their medical needs.